Welcome to the Easy Extrusion YouTube channel. Everyone is familiar with products such as breakfast cereals, pet food and cornflakes, but only a few know that all of this is made by an extruder. Today you can find a lot of courses and literature concerning extrusion technologies, but usually this stuff is expensive and highly specialised. Our idea is to create a free educational resource on extrusion. The Easy Extrusion YouTube channel is a video platform about the design and operation of extruders, oil presses and pelletizers. We'll use it to share our knowledge and technological experience with you. Today we'd like to present the first video from our Design and Function series. We'll focus on the extruder E1500, which is used for the production of dry feed. The main difference between this model and other single screw extruders is the preconditioner. What is it? Why do we actually need it? The preconditioner is a component that preheats, moisturizes, and at the same time mixes and injects hot steam and hot water into the raw material. Dry steam pressure is 0.2 to 0.5 MPa and the temperature 110 to 130 degrees Celsius. This process significantly reduces energy costs and helps to get a better product. Imagine that we first heat the material. What happens? It becomes softer and more elastic, right? As a result, we don't need so much energy while processing it. The capacity is increased and spare parts serve longer. The preconditioner ensures the raw material is moistened evenly, as a result of which we end up with a homogeneous final product. Also, we can control the degree of processing, which means we can determine the quality of the finished product by varying the time that the raw material remains under the influence of the steam. Let me explain the whole process in a few words. Raw material is fed into the hopper of the screw feeder. With the help of the feeder, we control the material supply in the preconditioner. Inside the preconditioner, this nozzle feeds steam and this nozzle feeds water. In fact, as it's moved along, the mixture is moistened, heated and additionally blended. The steamed mixture is fed by a twin screw feeder into the extruder. The rotation of the screw section of the extruder is provided by this rotor. Inside the extruder barrel, such processes as shear, high pressure and high temperature plasticize the product. The finished product is squeezed out through the die. Now let's take a closer look at the basic components of the extruder E1500. The bearing housing assembly consists of a body, the shaft, bearings and these nuts help to adjust the axial clearance of the bearing which is locked by these bars. The springs provide the initial load of the thrust bearing. Bearings cooling and lubrication must be done in the following way. Fill the rotor with oil through this plug. To drain the oil, use this plug. The screw section consists of screws, steam locks assembled on the shaft and pulled together by a left-handed thread ferrule, and inlet, transitional, outlet and compression chambers pulled together by these clamps. The sleeves are inserted into the inlet chamber. This sleeve has a hole for the water valve these sleeves are installed into these compression chambers. This temperature sensor is mounted on the chamber. Torque transmission from this shaft with these screws and washers is realized through these keys. These screws fix these sleeves into the compression chambers. The cutter consists of a die and rotating knives. The die and the outlet barrel are pulled together with a clamp which fixes the cutter in the direction of the screw section. Through this pipeline, the compressed air is supplied to the cutter. Compressed air traveling through special channels creates manometric pressure in the mechanism's inner cavities without allowing particles to enter the finished product or the bearing assembly and V-belt transmission. The feeder is a screw conveyor where the screw is rotated by a gear motor. Raw material is fed from the hopper by this screw and supplied into the preconditioner. Supply of feedstock is regulated by changing the rotation frequency of this screw. The preconditioner is a paddle conveyor which is used for even moisturizing, preheating and further mixing of the raw material. Inside the body, a shaft is mounted on rotating bearings which are rotated by the gear motor with a variable ratio unit. Mixing paddles are mounted on this shaft at an angle to its axis. As a result, simultaneous mixing and transportation of raw material is achieved by rotation of the shaft. The loading hopper is located in the upper part of the body. Three nozzles are installed in the area of the loading hopper to supply steam. The body is closed with an easily removable cover. Paddles are mounted on the shaft with the possibility of changing the angle of the slope. 
While changing the angle of the slope of the paddles and rotation frequency of the shaft, it's important to increase or decrease the amount of mixture in the mixing conditioner and regulate the degree of mixing. Bushing is placed on the cover where the pipe connector and spray nozzle are screwed to supply water into the preconditioner. The steam supply system includes an inlet cutoff valve, a water separator, a filter, a pressure reducing valve, an electromagnetic valve, collector, and cutoff valves. The steam supply goes directly into the preconditioner. On the side of the high steam pressure feed, an electric contact pressure gauge is mounted, and on the side of the low steam pressure feed, a pressure gauge is mounted. A condensate catcher, inspection glass, and cutoff valve are installed on part of the condensate drain trap. Sludge from the water separator and collector is drained through the vertical pipes with these plugs. Control panel. Extruder start stop for switching motor on and off. Feeder two start stop for switching electrical motor on and off. Setting work for switching between operational modes. Feeder 1 start-stop for switching feeder motor on and off at the inlet of preconditioner. Steam valve, switching electromagnetic valve on and off. Slicer, switching slicer motor on and off. Preconditioner start-stop for switching preconditioner motor on and off. Preconditioner, adjustment of shaft rotation of preconditioner. Feeder 1 supply, for adjusting the feeder capacity at the inlet of the preconditioner. Cutter, for adjusting the cutter rotation of the preconditioner. Digital indicators. Steam temperature, indicates the steam temperature. Product temperature, indicates the temperature of the product in the screw section of the extruder. Mixture temperature, indicates the temperature of the mixture at the inlet of the preconditioner. Drive current, an ammeter which indicates the drive motor load. Signal lamp. Voltage. Control of power voltage. Pressure. Red color. Control of minimum allowable steam pressure less than 0.3 MPa. Level. Control of emergency response of mixture level in reversing value. Today we've had a look at the Extruder E1500. In the next video, we'll talk about its adjustment and operation. We hope our project will help you to know more about extrusion in general and reveal some interesting and helpful facts. Leave your comments and suggestions for future videos down below. And remember to thumbs up and subscribe to the Easy Extrusion channel. Easy Extrusion is easy as it can be.